Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Monday, and the date is the 8th of February 2021. All right, girls, today we're going to talk about new lesson. We are having a new lesson. All right, first of all, can I ask you, Diana? You were you were uh, in Riyadh, is that right? Yes. Okay. How was but the I weather? Oh, it was cold. Really, it was even cold. In, even in the plane, it was cold. Wow. So it was cold. Can you compare it to Jeddah over here? Well, here sometimes the weather is good, but here too much. There, here the weather is. It's always hot. It's always hot. Okay. How do you think people can measure uh, the weather over here? The weather? Yes. Or let's say first, who, who measures the weather? If you want to know. Mm -hmm. Over there. And we can. Who? Sorry. Again, okay. again, Maria. Who measures the weather? The scientist. Scientist. Excellent, excellent. The scientist measures the weather. And this scientist has a name. The name of this scientist is meteorologist. So meteorologists, they can measure the weather using what? What do you think they need so they can measure the weather? They need the what? What is that called? Tools? Yes, the tools. Yes. I want you to they remember. Miss, mm -hmm. They need the tools so they can see the weather. Okay, if we are going to the beach, are you going to check the application that tells you the temperature of the weather? So you know if it's hot or cold, uh, is it a good day for beach or not? So tell me, what do they use to, to know about the temperature? Miss, sometimes I go on my iPad and just see. Okay, okay. People, they made this application to make it easier for you guys. Scientists make it, uh, make an application for you oh. to make it easier for you Miss, guys. Miss, because to we learn. don't. Miss, because we don't get tired, then we, ha we have to see. Like. Okay, exercise. but scientists they used some tools. What are the tools they used to learn about the weather to measure the weather? Thermometer. Excellent, very good. They use the thermometer to measure the temperature, very nice. What about the rain? When the rain falls a lot and a lot and a lot and they want to know and how much rain did it fall? Is there something they put it in the floor? That's a very yes. interesting question. And it measures how much rain, excellent. Do you remember the name? No. It's no. called the rain god. They can use oh. a rain god, very good. What about if it's windy? They need to know where this wind came from and where they is it going. Like they, they use something like this so they know. Excellent, like, yes. Like, uh, it's going like Called a wind, wind vane. A In wind this vein. lesson today, we're gonna talk about weather, everything about weather. Scientists, they can measure weather what are the tools they use, and some other interesting stuff. Before that, let me introduce, to, introduce you to some other, st uh, other tools they can use. Do you know a satellite? What's a satellite? A satellite is a device they send to space so it can orbit Earth and take what? a look at Earth from up high the sky and they are looking deep into something called the atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? This like atmosphere. Like, mm -hmm. wow. like, how can they send it to outer space? Yes. It, it's a device, like a spaceship, a small a spaceship. Oh. Yes, it looks like a small spaceship, but it's called a satellite. And oh, it has a camera. It sends data. Yes, it sends data oh. and photos to uh, computers over here down to Earth, and it tells you about the weather. 
how it tells you about the weather. It measures or take photos of the atmosphere. Now I'm gonna tell you what is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is some layer. Can you see a picture about it? Of course, you're gonna see a picture and a video about it, yeah. definitely. Yes, they are sending pictures of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is uh, some layer covering earth with gases and changing in gases, that what changes earth, atmosphere oh. or earth weather. Yes. This one, the gases make the rain. The gases make the clouds. Excellent, yes. Like gases that makes rain or clouds or snow or even thunderstorms no. or even wind. Excellent, excellent. Because Maybe it's not... Wind, yeah. Yes. Okay, girls. Now we're going to start our lesson with a video and pictures and I want you to see it. All right. I'm happy to watch video. You want a real one, not the cup of gold. You can't hear. Can you put another video? Is there a node? Is there a node? Okay, girls, have you ever seen a forecast on TV? No. Yeah. No. no. Yeah, done is so. Very good. So a forecast is like a news, but telling you about weather. So when they tell you about weather, they use these pictures. Okay? They use these pictures to describe the weather for you. They will tell you that there is wind coming from up north to south and it will uh, go by, uh, for example, Medina, Didda, Mecca and Taif. This wind oh, will yes. go through all these cities. Okay, how do they know? How, how, how? How did they know? Yeah. They sent a satellite. They sent a satellite in space and satellites can collect data, different data. Dif data means information. So different informations and can sent I it to, yes? Can you prepare a real one, a real video? Of one course, this, this one looks just like the real one. Definitely we can see a real one after we finish you, Fatima. Yes, of course. Because I can't hear her. The last thing I can do. Can you hear um, Fatima? No, it didn't. Nobody can hear it. There's no guys, sound. Guys, everyone cannot hear it? We can. Everyone? Uh, Dana, do you no hear it? What is this? Nothing. There's nothing. Okay, guys. I'm going to share it again. I didn't hear anything. All right. A meteorologist is a scientist who studies weather. You've probably seen a meteorologist giving the weather forecast on the news. But behind the scene, a lot of technology and data is used to generate an accurate forecast. Click the computer screens to see how meteorologists gather weather information. When you're done, click the next button where we'll discover more about weather. Now take a look at these computers. This is a meteorologist. After sending a satellite up to space to take picture of the atmosphere or weather, they are taking a look at what? At the data, information. They can monitor the clouds or the wind or even the temperature. Let's see. Meteorologists get weather information from satellites in space. These satellites take pictures of the clouds and can even see if there is rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Some satellites are so accurate they can tell what's happening on your street. So, some satellites are very, very good enough to know if what is happening in your street, not only above your city. Meteorologists track wind speed and direction. 
Tools that measure wind speed and direction send this information over the Internet to the meteorologist's computer. This allows scientists to see what the weather is like anywhere in the world without leaving their office. So clouds and wind direction, what else? Weather stations gather weather data like temperature. And this temperature. data is used to make a temperature map like this one. As temperatures change throughout the day, the numbers on the map are updated. Now, they can track clouds, wind, and temperature. They can do all that while they are sitting in their offices why? Because of the satellite they sent to space and it will measure for them. Welcome to the lesson, What is Weather? Where you'll learn about weather types. You'll also find out about how weather is measured and ways to stay safe. The vocabulary words for this lesson are weather, atmosphere, oxygen, and temperature. Click no. each word to find out more about it. In this lesson, we are going to learn about weather, atmosphere, oxygen, and temperature. You do not usually see thunderstorms in the winter, but sometimes a winter storm can include thunder, lightning, and snow. This happens when the air moving in the clouds is rapid instead of gentle, as is typical with snowstorms. This weather event is called a thundersnow. Thundersnow is one type of weather event. Can you think of other types of weather events? Now, have you ever seen a thunderstorm before? Have you ever seen a thunderstorm? Never in your no, life? No, never, ever. Okay, thunderstorm here in Saudi Arabia can be only rain yes, with please, thunder. Yes, I saw a thunderstorm last time. Yes, excellent, yes. Germany. Not only Germany, yes, but also here, uh, maybe one month ago, we had a thunderstorm. That means rain, a lot of rain came, and I saw a lightning and maybe a sound. So all of these together, they make thunderstorm. Thunder, you know what is thunder. Thunder means the lightning with the sound. So thunderstorm can come with clouds. It always comes with clouds. So there must be uh, snow or at least rain because snow comes only if it's very cold enough. Okay, this thunderstorm is a severe weather event. How, can you think of another event or another weather event? Only thunderstorm? It can be no, what? No, I've shown something else. Yes, it can be something else. Tell me. Like I saw even like um like a flashlight coming from the sky. Nice. Okay. This is an event. What about windy? Um, windy weather. Have you ever seen a windy weather? Yeah, yeah, I've shown it. Okay, windy weather. What do we call windy weather? Windy, wind, uh, windy, uh, what? Weather. Weather? Like what? Winds like a storm, for example? Mm. Yes. Oh? Winds can be, can come with yes. storms, can make storms. Yes, Siagamar. Oh. Yes, so storms are event, weather event. Rainy weather are uh, weather event. Sunny weather is weather event. All these are event. Why? They make something new. Sunny, windy, stormy, cloudy, rainy, uh, thunderstorm. Hmm. A hurricane comes from the weather. Weather is what is happening in the atmosphere at a certain place and time. The atmosphere is the mixture of gases that surround Earth. Click the pictures to find out more about weather and the atmosphere. So what is atmosphere? Mixture of what? Atmosphere. Atmosphere is a mixture of... Um, is what's happening on atmosphere weather? No, you Fatuma. No, you Fatuma. Fatuma. Atmosphere? Yes, it's a mixture of gases that surround Earth. 
It's a layer surround earth, goes all around earth, and it is full of chocolate? No, no, not chocolate. No, no. it is full of what? Huh, Taz and tea. Cad. Huh? Rain? Mixture of what? The atmosphere is a mixture of, uh, um, let's say, uh, candy? No, no. Gases. Gases. Everyone, I want you to tell me what's an atmosphere? Hi, Lara. Lara Justinia. It is a mixture of gases. Gases, gases. all around the earth. So a mixture of gases all around the earth makes the atmosphere. And what's happening in the atmosphere makes up the weather. So what is happening in the atmosphere? Make what? Weather. The weather, excellent, excellent. Tomorrow I'm gonna ask you again about weather and atmosphere. I hope you don't forget about them. <laughs> weather is what is happening in the atmosphere. Weather includes the temperature, the wind, and the moisture in the air. Sometimes we consider the weather nice and other times we think it is bad. So weather, it means if it, uh, what happens in the atmosphere, including what? The temperature. The temperature of these gases, the temperature of what is happening around you. Sometimes you think the weather, it is bad weather. And sometimes it is really good weather. What do you think about today's weather? Um, I don't know. Sunny. Is it good or bad? Miss, 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 um, yesterday, uh, yesterday and Sunday, I think it's good all because I didn't need to ask. It was what about the weather? Cold. Cold, yes, it is. It was a little bit windy at night and it was a little bit cold also. Today, the weather is sunny, sunny, but it is cool too. I love it. So it's a good day. Today is a good day, is a good weather. Let's see what's other. The atmosphere is the mixture of gases that surround a planet. Earth's atmosphere contains several gases, including the oxygen we breathe. Oxygen is a gas in the air and in water. Most living things need oxygen to survive. So, today we learned that gas, uh, that oxygen is what? Oxygen is what? Oxygen. Important. Gas. Very important. Gas. So, oxygen is a gas. You can yeah. find it in air around you. Also, where can you find it? In? in the water. Excellent, um, in the water. Everyone needs it to survive. Every living thing needs oxygen to survive. Can we survive without oxygen? No. No. Oxygen is the most important thing for living thing to survive. Any living things need oxygen, if it, even if it's a plant, animal, or human. Any living thing needs what, guys? Uh, needs oxygen. oxygen. Okay, where can you find oxygen? If I told you that atmosphere is a mixture of gases, it includes what? It includes something you breathe. What is it? Oxygen. Oxygen. Very good. Very good. See the big puffy clouds in this picture? These are called cumulus clouds. We usually see cumulus clouds like these in the sky when the weather is nice. Oh, so clouds. Does always clouds means rain? No. no. Whenever you see clouds, does that mean rain? Excellent. Sometimes clouds means it's rainy and sometimes it means not. So today we are going to learn about types of clouds. This type of clouds, we call it cumulus. Look yeah, at these clouds. Cumulus looks puffy. Are they puffy or not? They look just like cotton. These puffy 
clouds, they are called cumulus, and they mean a sunny weather or a good like weather. Candy. What? Yes, they look candy. like cotton candy. Yes, <laughs> they are cumulus. Oh, what do yummy. I call these clouds? Cumulus. Cumulus. Say it again with me. Cumulus clouds. Cumulus. Cumulus clouds. Excellent. And they mean a sunny weather because they look puffy and nice and very white. They are very white. Now let's see the second my time. My mommy say, my mommy say, I, I, I really want, oh, when we were in the airplane last time, in 2019, we were in the airplane and then my mommy see. Oh, what what will I do with the claw if I can touch it? I nice. told my mommy, squeeze it and some water will get out from it. Because oh, they... <laughs> that's nice imagination. But this is not true because clouds are made of gases. You can never squeeze a cloud. It is a mixture of Maybe. gases. You cannot touch a wish? cloud. If you wish you can touch the cloud, you think it's really fluffy when you see it. Oh, but it's untouchable because it's a mixture of gases. Yeah. Can you touch the yeah, air? Me too. I really no, I don't because feel anything. once you put your hand in a cloud, it will go through it without even you feel something. You only feel really? the air goes around it. Yes, that's true. I wish I can just feel how I want to see how my hands go through it. You, we say subhanallah when we see such a thing. Yeah. Now let's see the other type of cloud. Oh. Not only cumulus cloud we know or we have, we have other types of clouds. Let's see the other one. See the flat gray stratus clouds in this picture? We usually see stratus clouds just before rain, drizzle, or snow. So is it different from what? cumulus? Uh, yeah. Yes. How is it different? Let's see the color. Because is it the, the same color dark. or not? No, it's dark. It's dark. dark. Very dark. good. So stratus is dark and also they are not puffy. They are... They're not puffy, but they are huge clouds. Look how huge clouds they are. So stratus usually mean that there is rain, drizzle, or snow. So when I ask you, what, what bring rain? Which kind of cloud? You will tell me it is the stratus cloud. So what brings rain? Which cloud brings rain? Clouds bring rain, that one. That one. What do you call it? Stratus cloud. We call it what? Stratus cloud. Excellent. Very good. See the thin, wisp-like strands of clouds in this picture? These cirrus clouds are high in the Whoa. sky and may be a sign that a storm is coming. So finally, cirrus clouds, they, uh, they can, you can see them are very wispy and up high, high, high in the sky. It means the weather is about to change. Sometimes it changes. It's really windy. Sometimes it changes to a sunny weather. So cirrus cloud means that. You don't know what will happen. It's rainy, yes, it rainy. is a changing weather. Very good, dear Fatima. It is a changing weather. Now let's see the last one over here. See the tall, dark, puffy clouds in this picture? Cumulonimbus clouds are seen during thunderstorms. Okay, this one looks really dark. The really, really, really dark cloud, and it is really huge and big. It calls a cumulonimbus cloud, and this one means a thunderstorm cloud. Sometimes they don't call it cumulonimbus, they call it a thunderstorm cloud. What do they call it? Thunderstorm cloud. Very good, very good. Okay, guys, we'll go back to this book. We'll go back to the book. And let's see what did we learn today. Who can tell me what did we learn today? I don't know. I want to tell you. Weather. 
Okay, tell me one thing, ya Fatima. We learned about what? First of all. The weather. About okay. the cloud that it's named. Okay. Um, and we learned what is... Uh, okay, how can you tell about the weather? I will say satellites. The weather is... Yes, satellites take a picture of what? Like, uh, satellite, the weather. The like atmosphere. The... This yeah. is number one. The atmosphere. Number one, we talked about the atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? Atmosphere means what? It means the... What? The weather? Mixture of? Mixture of the weather. Of gases. Like the gas. Surround oh. Earth. So a mixture of gases that surround Earth, what do we call it? Weather. Atmosphere. A mixture of gases that surround this, Earth. What do we call it, guys? Sleepy. Yes, they you are, are sleeping. sleeping. Now, again, number one, in this lesson, we learned about the atmosphere. Hi, Amaria. Where is your, where is your sister? I don't know. Okay, Maria. Are you watching the... with me? Yes. You're taking a look at the book? Mm. Okay. So, what is the atmosphere? It is a mixture of what? What? Atmosphere. The word atmosphere. atmosphere. It is a mixture of? Yes. Gases. And it includes what? Something we breathe. What do I call it? Oxygen. Oxygen, very good. When something changes in this atmosphere, we call it weather. So what is the weather? Weather is the condition of the atmosphere that uh, in a certain place and a certain time. So you need a place and a time and see the condition of this atmosphere and then we call it a weather. So what is a weather? The condition, the co the condition of what? Uh, space what? Do not open the book. The condition of what? Me? Yes, you. Excellent to the atmosphere. And Dana, we said the atmosphere is what? It's the gas. It's a mixture of gases. Of gas. And one kind of gases that we breathe is the one that we breathe okay. is what? Oxygen. And it is very important for living thing. We learned about the three types of clouds, cirrus, cumulus, and stratus. And we learned which one of them will bring the rain. Which one of them, we know that it is a rainy weather, huh? Cirrus, cumulus, or stratus? Which one, you know, it's a rainy stratus. weather? Stratus. Stratus, excellent. Very good, very good. Also, guys, we know that there are tools to measure weather. We talked a about thermometer. a thermometer. It measures what? Bingo. A thermometer measures the what? Sun. The sun. feature. If it's hot the or feature. excellent, hot, excellent, yeah, Fatima. Hot or cold, and we call it a temperature. A rain gauge uh, measures what? How much? What falling? It is the rain. Yeah, excellent. And finally, we have a wind vane or a wind meter. It show yeah, you the direction it. of wind. Very good. Nice. Very good. I like it. Very nice. So that was our lesson for today. Do you have any question, guys? No. No. Okay. You are you were very sleeping today. Do you know that? Please, 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 tomorrow I need you to wake up, wake up. All right. Okay, bye. Okay, girls. Okay. That's it for today. Enjoy the rest of it and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.